Is there anything I should be concerned about? And the answer is yes. Max string size, a very cool parameter that came in in Oracle 12. I want to increase the maximum string size from 4,000, which has been there since way back in Oracle 8, to 32767. I know that under the covers of the database, we'll be using clob-like structures to implement this, but is there anything I should be concerned about? And the answer is yes. So why? It's not just a case of everything getting bigger and more beautiful. The vast majority of your experience will be that, the ability to suddenly have nice big bar chars. But there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. We're fixing what I call a past omission. And to help explain that, I'll go through a demo first and then we'll come back and explain this statement. So this is our demo to look at the maximum string size. I'm creating a table called T1 and it's got a couple of columns, varchar to 2000 from back on the old good old Oracle seven days and varchar to 4000, the current maximum if you haven't set max string size to extended. I'll create a couple of indexes on those columns because even though they're large string columns, sometimes we want to use some indexes on these columns. Now I'll create a table T2, which is probably how we're meant to create things in a global marketplace. I'm using the varchar to 2000 char, var 1000 2000 char syntax. Just because I can store 2000 bytes doesn't necessarily mean I can store 2000 characters because some characters require multiple bytes to be stored. Once we get into foreign languages, accented names, etc., we obviously want to be able to cater that in our database structures. If you've been on Office Hours website recently, you would have seen we're doing some Office Hours in Arabic. And yeah, the font just takes care of itself because we use UTF-8 throughout all of our databases. So this is good practice when you're creating tables in any modern database that will be used internationally because you want to actually have character semantics, not byte semantics. And I'll put some indexes on that table too. I'm going to connect a sysdba on this database. Uh, it's connecting, that's the database I'm connecting to. Um, this is the one that's running on Linux. Currently, we can see the max string size is standard. That's why those previous commands worked fine because I'm capping them at 2000 and 4000. I'm not even venturing into the 32K mark yet, but I want to. That's gonna be my next project. I'm gonna have some nice big strings. So I'm gonna set my string size to extended and bounce the database. So we'll shut down immediate. This is why I'm doing this one on Linux because the shutdown immediate will should be faster and the startup should be faster. He says bravely. So we've shut the database down and because I've set that parameter now, I do a startup. Come on, come on laptop. Connect, do a startup. It looks promising and hopefully we'll get something bad happening. Bingo. This is the first thing I wanted to stress to people when you're moving from max string standard to max string extended. You don't just set that parameter and bounce the database. There's more to do. We actually have to make some updates to the data dictionary in order to accommodate this. We shut down immediate. I didn't need to because it already shut down. Reconnect to sysadmin. Start up in upgrade mode because when you've set that parameter, you need the next step needs to be start up in upgrade mode. Once you've started in upgrade mode and the database is open, we need to run this script, utl32k.sql. It adjusts the dictionary to cater for this new string sizes. And off it goes, does a little bits, and it's done. Shut the database down, start it up again. You can see why I was using a Linux database here because my Windows one always takes so long to start. Shut the database down. Now that I've run utl32k, fix the dictionary, and I've got max string size set to extended in my SP file. So the database is shut down. Reconnect is that. And I can start up finally. This will start the database up. I've run that script. My SP file is set to extended and the database will open without incident. And so far, everything looks fine. And if I go ahead and create tables now, I can create them as varchar to 10,000, 12,000, et cetera. But one of the things I don't like about that script rerun is it does actually produce warnings. 
but they're, they sort of come flying out just in the middle of that processing. They're actually somewhere halfway through it and they went flying past. We didn't particularly notice any. They're critical warnings. What we need to do is look at this table here, sys.util32k underscore warnings. It's created as part of that script. Ideally, it will return no rows to you. That means everything went fine. But in my case, it says here, I have a couple of indexes and it says they must be dropped because of maximum key length. That's a big deal because obviously dropping indexes means I have some architectural changes I need to take care of. And the question is why? Why do I need to drop? Why is it enforcing that I had to drop indexes? This is why. Let's look at our two tables. We had T1, which was created as varchar2 2000, varchar2 4000, just in terms of bytes. What that means is the definition of how many characters we can hold is 2,000 and 4,000. And internally, that's how many bytes we allocate to them. T2 table was different. It was defined with character semantics. And what we've done is we said, okay, if you're asking for 2,000 characters or 4,000 characters, then internally, because this is a UTF-8 database, that means the number of bytes we might require for this column could be up to 8,000 for a 2,000 character column and up to 16,000 for a 4,000 character column. We might need 16,000 bytes potentially. Now you might be thinking, well, if I had 4,000 characters back in max string size equals standard, how, did we, how was this allowed? Because it would have been capped at 4,000 anyway, because we simply couldn't go above it. This was a bit of a cheat we had. We used to simply say, yes, you can have 4,000 characters. It's capped at 4,000 bytes. So when you actually put, for example, 1,500 characters in there, which happened to be multiple byte length characters, we'd simply say, you're out, you run out. Max string size of extended actually lets you now have the genuine 4,000 characters, even if they're multi-byte characters we will actually consume up to 16,000 bytes, for example, to give you a genuine 4,000 characters. We've actually corrected a bit of a lie that we had in the past. We said, yes, you can have 4,000 characters, but in reality, you might not get it because we were simply capped at 4,000 bytes as well. So we've actually remedied that now. We've solved that problem. You genuinely get your 4,000 characters. Woohoo! The price of that though, is that, 16,000 bytes and 8,000 bytes is exceeding the length, the maximum key length you're allowed to have in an index. An index in an 8K block size can only have a key of about 6.5K. This conceivably will exceed 6.5K. You cannot have indexes on these columns, unfortunately. And that's why it's not like they just must be rebuilt or recreated. They literally must be dropped. So if I create these tables and try to create indexes on them, I've dropped it and recreated it. You can see from that point onwards, that's my maximum key length. I literally cannot create an index on them anymore. Help is at hand. You can actually, if you're doing a quality based indexes, create indexes on hash values. I'm not going to do it in this office hours simply because Chris Saxon did a very good session on it a few weeks ago about using the standard hash function to index large character columns. So you can check out his office hour session for that. I didn't want to repeat that work, but something to be aware of. When you go from max string size of standard to extended, be aware that you may actually have some index issues that you need to cater for. Conversely, we have actually fixed a bit of a past omission. We used to say, yes, you can have 4,000 characters, whereas in fact, you didn't always get it. Now you genuinely get the full size of characters that you are after. So that's pretty cool.